Hi, I'm Dr. Amy Catapan, author of the upcoming book, Sweet Jesus, Is It June Yet? 10 Ways the Gospels Can Help You Combat Teacher Burnout and Rediscover Your Passion for Teaching, due out in August of 2021 from Ave Maria Press. Ever since I announced the title of my book, I've heard from teachers everywhere saying, uh, we need this book now. We can't wait until August. I get it. I've been a classroom teacher for over 20 years and have never seen anything like this past year of teaching through a pandemic. Even in non-pandemic years, the month of February can be really challenging. In fact, one of my former principals used to refer to February as the armpit of the school year. Let's face it, February stings. You're no longer well rested from break. All the Christmas lights and decorations are down. The days are still short, dark, and cold. In March, things start to look a little better. You've got standardized testing and the countdown to spring break. What does February have? Nothing. So how do you fight burnout on those days when it feels like June will never come? In my upcoming book, I've got 10 different ways the Gospels can help you do that. But I don't want to leave you hanging high and dry in what will go down in history as one of the toughest school years ever. So over the course of the next few weeks, I'll be sharing some of my teacher survival hacks. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification button so that you don't miss a single one. All right, there's no time to waste. Let's get right to teacher survival hack number one. Take a hike. Okay, I don't mean get lost. I mean, go outside, get some exercise, Walk, run, bicycle if the weather allows. Just get your body moving. We know that exercise helps beat stress. And stress is a big part of what causes burnout. When we got the stay at home orders last March, I knew I would go stir crazy if I had to sit in my small home every day. So I vowed that I would get in 10,000 steps a day. And you know what? I'm pretty sure it saved my sanity. By month number three, when a lot of people were ready to lose their minds, I was not only teaching remotely, I was also completing and defending my dissertation. I'm pretty sure those walking breaks I took each day saved my sanity. Now you might be thinking, I thought the title of your book said these ideas would come from the Gospels. Granted, nowhere in the Bible does it say you need to walk 10,000 steps a day, but I'm pretty sure walking is a Jesus-approved way to beat stress. Think about it. He went from town to town teaching. How did he get there? Walking, of course. So if Jesus could take walks between his teaching sessions, I think he'd be okay with us doing it too. And if walking's not your speed and you need to run or cycle or ski, do it. We know that exercise is good for our bodies, our minds, and our souls. We teach it to our students. Sometimes we just need to remind ourselves. So if you're feeling burned out, go take a little hike today. To make sure you don't miss the release of my upcoming book, Sweet Jesus, Is It June Yet?, 10 Ways the Gospels Can Help You Combat Teacher Burnout and Rediscover Your Passion for Teaching, subscribe to my newsletter at the link below. In the meantime, happy teaching, and I'll be back soon with another teacher survival hack.